Morning kisses, the best way to wake up. Let's do this YouTube fam. Let's wake up. Ah. Outfit of the morning. I just have to show you guys these high-waisted underwear. First of all, look at that little buckle in the back. Like how cute. And then, kind of remind me of like a high-waisted bathing suit. Like you can kind of walk around the house with these like cute loungewear. I just got these from Dan Skin. But yeah, booty coming in nice. I've been doing my booty workouts. Don't love your lower stomach? Then just wear high-waisted underwear. I just thought I would show you guys progress and everything because a lot of you guys know I was doing a keto diet, but I'm not anymore. This what I eat in a day video is going to be all intuitive eating, but vegetarian. I'm still eating vegetarian. Ah, uh, good morning. It's not morning until you have your first cup of coffee, right? So I like to put a little bit of hazelnut creamer in my coffee and call it a day. Of course, I have to have my straw. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys my current favorite protein smoothie. So all you need is one banana. Oh, I finally got a new protein powder that is vegetarian, gluten-free, soy-free, and this protein powder in particular supports weight loss. It's a really good weight loss protein powder. Plus, it also helps your hair, nails, and skin. So it's really good stuff. So the serving size is four scoops, so that's what I'm doing. And what I really like about this protein shake is it makes me feel full for a really long time. I love that. So now I'm going in with unsweetened vanilla almond milk. By the way, the protein powder is also flavored vanilla, so it's a very vanilla-y, peanut buttery shake, as you will see. And I'm not really counting how much I'm putting in, I'm just kind of using up however much we have left. Oh, there it is, all done. And then I'm going in with powdered peanut butter, this is PB Fit, and it just gives it a nice peanut butter taste. Then you want to blend it all up and what's great is this is a super easy shake to make for school or for work and if you are in the market for a new protein powder definitely check this one out protein world is giving my subscribers a discount you'll save 15 percent however it's only valid for the next 30 days next favorite meal is this salad i know meh, salad the salad's no fun this salad actually is really good so you want to fill a bowl with washed kale and then I'm going in with chickpeas. This isn't exactly a cup, but it's more than a half a cup. I just kind of eyeballed it. Then I'm going in with a half of avocado and two cloves of garlic. And you're just going to pour that all in there. This is a super garlicky salad, so make sure to pack gum if you're eating this at work or school. Then I'm going in with hemp hearts, which is a great source of protein for vegans and vegetarians and it's great to sprinkle on salads. It's really flavorless, so don't worry, you're not gonna taste anything weird. And then I'm going in with a handful of cashews. Oh my God, I know that this, I know salads are not typically fun, but this is so good, this salad. Honk, honk. Oh my God, I hate myself. <laughs> Lemon juice. Lemon juice really makes the salad. You wanna use real lemons and just squeeze them on top be a Samo video if I didn't use this garlic salt. The only garlic salt I use and probably my favorite spice in the entire world. So you're going to put that all on top and then you're going to put pepper. By the way, I can't eat avocados without lemon and pepper. Like it is so good. So make sure you're doing all of these steps to really get the flavors in there. And then I always go in with red pepper. I like a little spice. But if you don't like spicy things, I would probably skip this step. Then I go in with a splash of white wine vinegar. Make sure you're just doing a splash or your tongue will fall off. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but it, it'll be like too soury. And I just use the top and I just kind of splash it all around there. And then you want to mix everything together so that all the flavors are nice and juicy and kind of mingle together before you eat it. Look how good this looks. It's a not so boring salad. It's really yummy and I like to put it in a clear bowl because I like to like see everything in it. Yeah, I know, I'm kind of weird. Okay, next part of the day is I do go on this workout that's right by the beach. It's outside, it's perfect. And I like to bring a protein bar with me. So I am using the Slender Blend Protein Bar in the flavor chocolate coconut it's so good and the perfect on-the-go snack or a great snack after a workout for dinner we are having a very fall festive squash soup so I've made squash soup on my channel before and every time I make it it comes out a little different like I always find new recipes and stuff like that so I took some chopped up squash that I got at Whole Foods and I just filled it to the max line 
Then you're gonna go in with a half a cup of cashews. Look at us, we're using our cashews again. I love that when you're using like the same ingredients multiple times. Oh, and I spilled it everywhere. Good job, Sam. Then I filled water in there up to the max line. We're all ready to blend this baby up and then we are gonna go back in with the blender later, so don't put this in the dishwasher yet. So now I'm just putting some olive oil in my pot and you wanna put it on low to medium heat and pour your ingredients in the pot. Yay, it's baby food. No, I'm just kidding, this comes out so good, I swear to God. Okay, so now you just want to mix everything together with a wooden spoon, just get everything kind of mixed. And then I'm going in with two cloves, cloves, blah, 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 two cloves of garlic. As far as ingredients, that's it. It's literally the easiest soup to make. And now we're going in with the spices. So of course, garlic salt, you can also use regular salt, sea salt, Himalayan salt, any kind of salt you want. Not to pick on squash, oh, go in with your ground cumin before I like talk your ears off, but not to pick on squash, but it can be very bland. Like you need to do extra flavor to really get the most out of this soup. So don't be afraid, you can use a heavy hand because squash just like eats up flavor. And then I'm going in with red pepper and then I go in with paprika. So then you're just going to let the soup boil and get really hot and then let it cool down and put it back in the blender, but you don't wanna put it in the blender piping hot because you could like melt the blender. So you wanna let it cool down and put it back in the blender and this way it's going to blend and give a nice, smooth, buttery texture, the same way you would have when you're at a restaurant, like maybe something really fancy that is making you squash soup, probably overcharging you, we made this at home. Look at that, perfect, perfect texture. So you wanna to top it with all the spices we used, plus some rosemary, which is flavor to taste. You can also just add pepper on top and rosemary. Taste is subjective. I like things really salty and spicy, so it's really up to you. Then you wanna put it on your nice fall table, and voila, we are all done. Love you guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like what I eat in a day videos from me, and I will keep making more. Comment section below, let me know if you wanna see a pros and cons to doing a keto diet because even though you guys know from a previous video of mine I didn't love the diet I did learn a lot of good things from it as well so let me know if you want to see that <laughs> have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys soon bye